going on guys, it's Cynical and welcome back to another Kingdom Hearts Union Cross news and information video. Today for you guys, we have some juicy details when looking towards the new and upcoming player vs player mode for Kingdom Hearts Union Cross that will soon be getting implemented into the game. Now I have actually been wanting to talk about this news for a little while because some information towards PvP mode in Union Cross came out during the Union Cross Dandelion meeting event that happened a couple of weeks ago, but then also recently we got further information information towards PvP mode within one of the Union Cross Japanese updates. Now keep in mind that PvP mode will be getting implemented into version 2.6.0 for the Japanese version, which is arriving very shortly. However, though, it's likely that the global version will not receive the PvP update as soon as the Japanese version does. It's likely that we will be waiting a few weeks before we receive it. However, though, we finally do have a proper understanding as to exactly how the PvP mode works in Union Cross. At first glance, when we saw the initial uh, screenshot towards PvP mode, a lot of us were confused as to exactly how this is going to work, especially in a game like Kingdom Hearts Union Cross. This is definitely a mode that people have been wanting to get implemented into this game. The real question is, does this work and is it fun to play? And now that we do finally have an understanding, it looks to be like this is probably the best setup for a PvP mode to actually work in this game, and it's actually looking pretty interesting. So let's read up on the details. So this right here is a brand new preview screenshot of PvP mode right here. It's extremely similar to the very first preview screenshot that we got to see for this mode. You guys will notice that there are no HP bars to be seen in the heads up display whatsoever and this was a big aspect that a lot of us were scratching our heads over. So essentially PvP mode is a complete damage contest. The winner is determined by how much damage you can deal to the opposing player. It's kind of like a high score challenge in a sense except you're versing a another player. Every time you deal damage, you will accumulate points, and those points will be added to your overall score, as you guys can see right here. Now the winner is determined by the best two out of three rounds. So essentially, to win this mode, you have to win two out of three rounds. And like I said, the winner is determined by who can deal the most damage in a single round. The crowns underneath your score that you guys can see right here determine your current wins. This player currently has no wins. Now like I was saying, there are three rounds to one match of PvP and for each round you'll be using a different Keyblade setup. So just as an example, for round 1 you might be using Fairy Stars, then for round 2 you might be using Dark Noir, and then for round 3 you might be using something like Counterpoint. It should be known that the Keyblades are automatically organized for the start of each month. So essentially you can't actually use any Keyblade you want, you have to work with the Keyblade that is available to use for PvP mode in that month. PvP mode also works closely to the Colosseum in the way that rankings and rewards are distributed, so every single month the rankings and rewards will reset. It should also be noted that you cannot use the same metal in multiple Keyblade setups, so for the three Keyblades that you are given uh, for the month of PvP mode, you can only have that one metal on one Keyblade setup. Now this is kind of understandable to, you know, obviously balance things out, otherwise people would have like uh, Shion EX or Kyrie EX at the top of all three of their setups, so this again is sort of a way of just balancing things out. Although, I believe that this kind of co-aligns with the recently introduced stained glass medals. As you guys know, this is sort of the new wave of buff medals. They're not exactly the same as Shion EX or of course Kyrie X because they focus more so on buffing upright magic, reverse magic, reverse power, as well as upright power. So opposed to an all-round buff, the stained glass medals really only focus on one attribute. And because there is currently four of these bad boys available to pull, it makes them a perfect fit for the PvP scenario. And also while we're on the topic of buffs, yes buffs will last throughout turns in PvP mode, even though when you switch to a different turn your Keyblade setup switches as well. So long as it is a buff that lasts multiple turns, yes you will keep that buff active. And that right there is the PvP mode explained in Union Cross. So now that I actually do have a semi-watt understanding as to exactly how this mode works, I'm really 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 excited to actually get a hands-on experience experience with this mode. Uh, like I was saying, the Japanese version are likely to receive this first, most likely sometime this month, and then sometime hopefully in the coming weeks after, the global version will receive this update as well. Let me know in the comment section down below guys, are you going to be getting involved in the PvP mode for Union Cross? However guys, with all that being said, I've been Cynical, hopefully you guys are having an absolutely fantastic day, and until next time guys, I'll catch you later. Peace.
Hit him on the page, you'll be coming through stunning. Go dead my mouth when you suckers be bluffing. Milk crank, gaming up your bitch though. Catch me in the back playing Super Nintendo.